Welcome to What is the Metaverse? Sponsored by the Virtual World International Student Project, Autumn 2022. Shaw University and the University of Santiago de Compostela. Participants will be able to personalize and adapt their own working definition of the metaverse for use in their work. My online name is Sidearm and my offline name is James. I am a practitioner in applied online presence. My academic background is in physics and systems engineering. My business background is in corporate and entrepreneurial. My personal interest is composing in vision and sound using cross-dimensional thinking and online presence. Issue. People do not agree on the metaverse. For those long familiar with Second Life, defining what is the metaverse seems simple. Second Life is the metaverse because of reasons. But those Second Life people are a minority. People do not agree on what is the metaverse. People do not agree on whether the metaverse is important. Students attending classes in the metaverse, like yourselves, have mixed reactions. Isn't the metaverse just a bunch of cartoon characters? People who hear about the metaverse in the news are skeptical. Isn't the metaverse just another big company scheme to make money and steal our personal information. Does the metaverse matter economically? Is there any money in it? Does the metaverse matter socially? Is there any social good in it? We will come back to these questions at the end of today. Let's move on. We are already living in the metaverse. The metaverse is a persistent online digital environment with two-way multi-user co-creative instant access. The metaverse is physical reality in the digital age. The top picture shows Earth's submarine fiber optic cable network, which connects all the continents of the world by transoceanic wires. There are over 400 of these cables now, so many that they look like thick outlines circling and crossing the continents. The bottom picture shows mobile network towers, which connect all the homes, schools, factories, and offices of the world by radio waves. There are over four million towers now, so many that you can walk or drive and see them anywhere with their antennas pointing everywhere. The bottom right picture shows favorite social media platforms in Spain, 2018 to 2022. Do any of you use WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube? Operational definitions change concepts into measurements. In the last slide, I said, the metaverse is a persistent online digital environment with two-way multi-user 
Procreative Instant Access. This is an example of an operational definition. An operational definition changes a concept into a measurement. The business consultant and statistician W. Edwards Deming helped the Japanese automobile industry become world-class in the 1950s. Deming changed vague concepts of quality into specific measures of improvements. Deming stated that no concept is usable in practice until it has been translated into a measurement procedure that can be observed and reported. This means that you can ask yes-no questions about the concept, supported by numbers. For example, regarding Toyota Corolla automobiles, are they economical to manufacture, yes or no? Are they economical to purchase, yes or no? Do they have good fuel economy, yes or no? Do they have good repair records? Yes or no? For example, regarding my first definition of metaverse, that it has instant access. Traditional email would be out as a metaverse. Instant messaging would be in. Deming emphasized that if you change the yes-no questions that are being asked, then you are changing the operational definition. There can be more than one valid definition. Care has more than one valid definition. According to Dictionary.com, a chair is a seat for one person with four legs and a backrest. The picture on the left shows a lady chair with four legs, but with the front two legs crossed. This meets the definition, but does not look comfortable to sit on. The picture on the right shows a beanbag chair with no legs at all. But you can sit on it, and it looks much more comfortable than the first chair. So, Dictionary.com also says, a chair is something that supports, like a chair. So the operational definition for chair turns into measurement questions such as, Four legs, yes or no. Backrest, yes or no. Support, yes or no. Comfortable, yes or no. I give lady chair three out of four. I give beanbag chair three out of four as well. Both are different, yet both are operationally chair-worthy. The operational definition changed based on the yes-no questions. Deming gives us good news and a warning. It is not an issue if there is more than one operational definition. It is an issue if you and others are using different definitions and do not know it. Metaverse has more than one valid definition. According to Dictionary.com, a metaverse is a shared, realistic, and immersive computer simulation. But Dictionary.com knows there can be more than one. So it also says a metaverse is a theoretical, emergent, networked online space. 
There is no one true metaverse. Because the concept you are discussing depends on how you define and measure it. This is a hard lesson, especially for Second Life users. How do we resolve this? Second Life is an example of a canonical metaverse. Second Life is the Ur example of a canonical metaverse. It is canonical because there is a book about it, Snow Crash, written in 1992. Look around where you are right now in Second Life and in real life as I read what Neil Stevenson said back then. He's in a computer-generated universe that his computer is drawing onto his Googles, goggles and pumping into his earphones. In the lingo, this imaginary place is known as the metaverse. He is not seeing real people, of course. This is all a part of the moving illustration drawn by his computer according to specifications coming down the fiber optic cable. The people are pieces of software called avatars. They are the audiovisual bodies that people use to communicate with each other in the metaverse. The most obvious visual aspect of Second Life as a canonical metaverse is our digital embodiment, 3D, fluid, free camera view of our recreated cells, environment, and others. The most obvious economic aspect of Second Life as a virtual economy metaverse is the Second Life Marketplace, and Helia, the software and services for virtual economies with the ability to convert real-world money into in-world currency and back. <laughs> Zoom is an example of an extended metaverse. How do we resolve that Second Life is not the one true metaverse? We expand the operational definition. Deming would be proud. What is the metaverse became a hot topic in public awareness and media because of the pandemic in 2019, forcing people to communicate using two-way instant access apps like Zoom and Facebook in 2021 renaming itself to Meta. In response to the new buzz, Scott Stein, a senior technical editor at CNET, published a contemporary definition of Metaverse in 2021. Think about the apps and games you use or see used every day as I read his definition. The definition of metaverse now is sort of a future forward social hub, a space where avatars can meet, an ecosystem for connected apps. A VR and AR ready dream of bringing people into some sort of virtual universe that's as creation friendly as a Minecraft, as popular as a Fortnite, and as useful as Zoom, Slack, and Google Docs. The future of tech doesn't lie just in VR or AR. 
but in a mix of many devices accessing a shared online world, which may be more immersive and 3D than the internet you're currently using to read this story. Notice the operational elements. Connected apps, yes or no. Space where avatars can meet, yes or no. VR and AR ready, yes or no. Creation friendly, yes or no. Popular, yes or no. Useful, yes or no. More immersive and 3D, yes or no. How many of these criteria do Zoom and Second Life meet? I give Zoom 5 out of 7. I give Second Life 5 out of 7 as well. It drives my Second Life friends crazy when I say that Zoom is a metaverse. So I say, Second Life is a canonical metaverse, and Zoom is an extended metaverse. They do not forgive me yet. Remote controlled doors are examples of an extended metaverse. The top picture shows a smart doorbell. The delivery lady rings the doorbell. The camera in the doorbell sends the picture to the grandmother's phone app. The grandmother knows it is safe to open the door. The bottom picture shows a smart door opener. The phone app can trigger the door to open. There's more. The top right picture shows a lady doing a yoga arm balance pose. She is using her brain to monitor her senses and muscles to control her body. This is proprioception, the sense that perceives location, movement, and action of parts of the body. What is the connection? The grandmother is using her brain to monitor her electronic senses, the doorbell and electronic muscles, the door motor, to control her electronic body, the door. This is the Internet of Things, web-enabled hardware that acts on data from its environments and human instructions. This is extended mind theory as a prosthetic limb can become part of a body, technology such as computers becomes part of our minds. The smart doorbell and smart door opener are available now on Amazon.com. This is the extended metaverse gone wild. We are already living in the extended metaverse. When was the metaverse invented? The metaverse arrived without us noticing it. We don't realize it now until we look back. Snow Crash came out in 1992, 30 years ago. But that is also when the Internet became a thing. Ten years later, Second Life came out in 2003. But that is also when the Internet of Things became a thing. Another ten years later, Zoom came out in 2012. But that is also when the Oculus headset became a thing. 
and another ten years later, Facebook renamed itself as Meta. Which brings us back to today. What if you are creating the Metaverse? In concept, the Metaverse exists in our minds and imagination. In practice, the Metaverse exists in the infrastructure and apps with which we create, communicate, and participate. Who owns reality in the digital age? I feel that we all have a say in what the Metaverse is and where it is going. I have said that an operational definition is the translation of concept into measurement, and there can be more than one. A canonical Metaverse is an immersive, digitally embodied, 3D, computer-generated universe. An extended metaverse is an evolving ecosystem of digitally and physically connected apps. We all have a say in what the metaverse is and where it is going.